I just wanted to start with this just because it, it is a little nerdy to use a spreadsheet for this. So um, this is how I, you know, the sort of the story of how I had to figure this thing out. And so trying to figure out, especially for science schedules, I set up the eight potential periods in this possible schedule um, and broke them into A, C, B, D blocks so that you could have like every other day things like labs go in. And so this is where you want to enter the classes down and where it's brown right here and then they correlate. So if I if I change the name of this to Joe Bob, um, see so yeah, how it changes to Joe Bob up here. Um, so, you know, if it's going to be like, you know, English 8 or something like that, right, that would make it, you know, sort of plot along. And I double-checked it. You might want to just double-check it yourself to make sure it does what you think it should do according to the schedule. So if you have a singleton, like, class that's running every day, then you just put it in both places like that. Um, and then this will carry it out according to this proposed schedule uh, there so that you can, s you know, play around with the impact of different potential assignments and in terms of how that'll play out. Um, and I've got this sheet here set up the same way. Um, I don't know why the grid lines went away there. I'm not like a super expert, but if you know if you put in like earth science, right, that's still gonna work, right, where it, it'll fall in like that. Earth science class every day would then fall in like that, right, which I think correlates with what this proposed schedule structure is is doing here is a generic schedule. So all these three tabs down at the bottom actually will will do this. That way you could set up say three side by side schedules like that. Okay. So um, I'm gonna if I haven't shared this with you and you want me to share it with you, let me know. Okay, and I'll share the file with you. Take care.